NASCAR has penalized NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series driver Corey Heim for his actions during the Craftsman Truck Series race at Phoenix. This is over at NASCAR.com. It reads, NASCAR officials issued behavioral penalties Wednesday to Craftsman Truck Series driver Corey Heim for his actions in last weekend's season-ending race at Phoenix Raceway. Heim was fined $12,500 and docked 25 points in the Truck Series driver standings. The penalty falls under the heading of NASCAR rulebook sections 4.4B and D, which refers to the NASCAR member code of conduct. Heim was involved in a pair of incidents during Friday night's season finale, the first of which sent Heim's number 11 Tricon Garage to Toyota spinning after a lap 120 uh, bump from the number 42 Nice Motorsports Chevrolet, a fellow championship four contender Carson Hosevar. Just 27 laps later, Heim's truck made contact with Hosevar's as the pair exited turn two. Heim explained in a post-race interview that he had lost control of his damaged truck as Hosevar attempted to pass him. But NASCAR officials determined Wednesday that a review of the number 11 team's radio transmissions indicated that Heim had violated the member guidelines, specifically in three areas of the rule book, attempting to manipulate the outcome of the race or championship, wrecking or spinning another vehicle, whether or not that vehicle is removed from competition as a result, and any actions deemed to compromise the safety of an event or otherwise pose a dangerous risk to the safety of competitors, officials, spectators, or others. Hosevar was sidelined by their second altercation and finished 29th in the 36th truck field. Heim, the pole starter, continued and finished on the lead lap in 18th place. Uh, those results placed Heim third among the four title-eligible drivers behind champion Ben Rhodes and 11 points clear of Hosevar. The points penalty, however, knocks Heim to fourth in the, in the final Craftsman Truck Series standings behind Hosevar. So let's get into what exactly happened here. Uh, but again, $12,500 fine uh, and 25 point penalty, which puts him in fourth place behind uh, Carson Hosevar. So this is what happened uh, initially where Carson Hosevar spins out Corey Heimer over here on the NASCAR YouTube channel. Let's take a look. This is in-car camera footage from Carson Hosevar's truck. Rides up the track, takes out Corey Heim, collects Stuart Friesen, drives on, cautions out. And that is what happened there. So that is Carson Osvar wrecking Corey Heim. And then uh, this is what happened uh, on, that was, that was, that happened on uh, with 31 laps ago. This one happened with four laps ago. So here is what happened with uh, Heim taking out Hosevar. You can see that's already uh, the aftermath of it. Josevar's truck just riding up against the wall, uh, severely damaged. He would retire from the race. You can see here, uh, Heim gets up into them in the wall there. Here's a better look from Josevar's in-car camera. Gets a really good run on the outside. Heim drifts up. Puts him in the wall. Continues on. Josefar's night is done. Then here is from Heim's truck. Just runs him into the wall there. And that's that. And this is what Heim said following the race to uh, Series XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90. You know, let's take a listen. You know, every time I was two or three wide, I was out of control with no side force. So, um, you know, it was I was hanging on for a while there, and eventually I, uh, you know, once he put it on my door there out of two, I completely lost it. So, um, you know, just I've never retaliated on anyone in my entire life. So, um, you know, I feel like that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And would you go talk to him? or? So that is how Heim described what happened. Clearly, NASCAR disagreed with him after reviewing uh, his team radio and team communications, believing that he did indeed retaliate against Carson Hosevar. I think everyone watching clearly saw that he retaliated against Carson Hosevar. Uh, so um, I think a penalty was definitely justified. Uh, whether or not uh, you give him that 25-point uh, penalty that puts him behind Hosevar, um, it, I think that is up for debate. Uh, I think they gave a similar penalty to Denny Hamlin earlier in the year. Uh, when he took out uh, Ross Chastain and admitted it on his podcast, Actions Detrimental. So uh, it does seem like they're maybe being consistent in that respect. But 
Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's actually fair. Uh, I probably would have maybe just given him the monetary fine and maybe not done the point penalty. Uh, obviously, Josevar did indeed uh, take Heim out earlier in the race and pretty much ruined his uh, championship hopes. And it doesn't look like they're uh, finding him for what they find uh, Corey Heim. Again, uh, just to remind you, they're saying that uh, Heim attempted to manipulate the outcome of the race or championship. Uh, wrecking or spinning another vehicle, whether or not that vehicle is removed from competition as a result, and then any actions deemed to compromise the safety of an event. I think Hosovar um, spinning out Heim could be argued that he was also manipulating the outcome of the race or championship, and he clearly um, uh, wrecked or spin, spun another vehicle, whether or not that vehicle was removed from competition as a result. So I think there is an argument to be made here now that Carson Hosovar should be... Um, receiving the same penalties that Corey Heim received as well. Obviously, you can look at uh, whether or not uh, Josevar did indeed uh, wreck Heim on purpose. That would have to be the determining factor there. But I do think uh, this is going to create a controversy for NASCAR. Uh, I think they might think they're being consistent, but I do think that there is now uh, room to argue why was uh, Carson Josevar not fined or penalized uh, for taking out uh, Corey Heim and Stuart Friesen, uh, or obviously the argument they'll probably get back is that it was a racing incident and it wasn't retaliation, which is what they're clearly saying happened here uh, from Heim against Carson Osvar. But what do you guys make of this? What do you make of NASCAR fining and penalizing Corey Heim uh, for his actions in the season finale for the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race at Phoenix?